everyone. So today is a special day because we are having nine friends over for a little dinner party. I'm really excited about it and I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be making. There's going to be 10 people total. No, 12 people total. And I'm going to be making curried goat stew with rice and some beans as well as some honey teriyaki drumsticks. So let me start off with that goat stew. I really love this recipe. It's one of my favorites. It's inspired by Caribbean and some West African flavors. So we're starting off here with about three and a half pounds of goat stew meat. And I've already actually pressure cooked the stew meat for about 30 minutes on high pressure in my Instant Pot. I removed the water and now I am browning the meat in about a quarter cup of coconut oil. Now that the meat is browned, I'm gonna add in salt, pepper, garlic, ginger, and curry powders. Yum, this is gonna be so yummy. You can feel free to adjust the seasonings as you like. I'm also gonna add in one very large chopped onion. This was like a mega onion. It could probably be two large onions. If you want more details on the recipe, all the ingredients, pictures of all the steps, make sure to check out the mamasanablog.com. I'll have all the details over there and I'll leave a link for that in the video description below. I'm cooking these kidney beans very similarly to the flavors in the goat stew. There's tomato, garlic, onion, ginger powder. My favorite beans for this kind of stew are black eyed peas, but I don't have any right now, so I'm just using these kidney beans that I have a lot of. And you can see here little pieces of fish. I use smoked fish to really flavor the beans and give them a yummy, 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 smoked, yummy flavor. I've also got a bay leaf in here. Again, I'll leave the full recipe for this and pictures in the video description below. Now that the onions have cooked, I'm adding in this jar of tomato sauce. You can use fresh tomatoes, but I like to use tomato sauce because it gives it a more developed flavor. And I'm also going to add in about three cups of goat broth. It's the same liquid from when I pressure cooked the goat meat earlier. I'm gonna mix that all in and I'm gonna let all these flavors incorporate for another at least 30 minutes or so. So I've moved the goat stew over to my cast iron pot just so it can continue simmering here and because this is where I'm gonna serve it. Now let's move on to our honey teriyaki drumsticks. I'm gonna make a marinade for the drumsticks using water, soy sauce, rice vinegar, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, and ginger powder, and a quarter cup of honey. In my Instant Pot, I have two packets or about four pounds of drumsticks. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the water and the soy sauce, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, all of my seasonings, and the quarter cup of honey. You could also use sugar or maple syrup, whatever you have on hand or whatever you prefer. I've got all the ingredients in here. I'm gonna incorporate this. I'll put the lid on and I'll manually set the pot on high pressure for 10 minutes. So the 10 minutes on high pressure are up. I'm removing the drumsticks now and I'm putting them in this pan. I'm going to put them in the oven on broil for about five minutes per side. And while that's happening, I'm going to reduce the liquid, the marinade, and it's gonna become like a delicious glaze that I'm gonna just pour right over the chicken. And last but not least is the rice. I do a one-to-one -one ratio of wet rice, it has to be wet, and liquid in the Instant Pot. I'll press rice and it'll be ready in no time. Instant Pot rice is my favorite by far. so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more food videos, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you tried it, if you want to try it, what you think of this recipe. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. Bye!